Ooh, might have multiple things in here. We do, we've got a twofer. Screws. Three millimeter screws, which are I think five millimeter long, or maybe six millimeter long, something like that. Just restocking. Not too exciting. The packaging is quite good. It survived the trip. Cool. So this is actually someone's project. They're building these things themselves in China. And it's a spectrometer. So I saw a video recently, and this is called the Little Garden Spectrometer. That's just what the person chose to call it, Little Garden. Apparently it's got more meaning in Chinese than it does in English. So you put this up the PC or your, or your computer, whatever you going to use for it. It outputs as a webcam, basically, but it's, it gives you spectrum. And you have a CFL here to calibrate it with. Even supplied a little adapter, which allows you to screw this in. This is a 220 volt one, which is great. I could always run my Variac anyway, it wouldn't really matter. This kind of connection on it, which... Oh, it's adjustable. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> Perfect. So you can screw that into there, and then you can use this to calibrate the spectra coming out of this. Because these have certain um, lines on them for the type of emissions they give. Got some little filters that go over the input if you've got a really bright light source. A little USB cable came with it. We wanted to get a spectrometer for ages, but they've been horrendously expensive. I mean, if you get a commercial one, you're talking thousands. This was really cheap. Now this guy says so making them himself, so it's got 3D printed aspects to it. I think the case is original, but the internal structure is 3D printed, and he makes these himself. And it was cheap. It's a fraction of the price of what you pay for a commercial one. And from what I've seen, it does a pretty good job, and it does a really broad bandwidth as well. And what I really wanted this thing for was checking things like infrared, for checking emission frequencies of infrared, you know, for infrared controls and things like that, and infrared devices, which a bit harder to, to try and deal with because a lot of these commercial ones don't actually do infrared, they only do visible light spectrum or they go into near infrared but they don't go right up in there so I needed something which covered that and this does cover it so that's quite good I think that's like 1100 or something Shall I send the cat out? Yeah, send the cat out He doesn't want to go out now He's just looking at the open doorway. Get out. It's cold out there. So it tells you how to set it all up and it's different files. It actually send you a link to a files you have to download, which is support files for this thing and instructions and things like that. So this is a little quick start thing here, some links to it as well. So I'll be playing with this later on. I don't think I'll do a video about it, I'm not sure. It means I can do testing with this. Like I said, it's a fraction of the price of what you normally pay, and from the video I saw that was done about it, it's certainly suitable for what I need it for. So, brilliant. So I'll chuck a link down below for this, because there's a good chance you'll want one of these things too. Well, by then I would have played with it and confirmed it actually works nicely. If, as long as it works properly, I'll put a link down. So it's got this package arrived. Now this was one which is redirected. This was actually delivered to Palmerston North instead of to my place. And then I got a phone up saying, hey, we've got this package, is it yours? And yeah, anyway, I've got it. And it was had been opened and resealed. And I've just opened it to make sure there's nothing in here which is like, got my address on it and stuff. But let's see what we've got in here. And I had a bunch of stuff which was all delivered on the 22nd, which didn't arrive. And hopefully, this is everything which was supposed to be delivered and didn't arrive. So, we'll start with these first. Some angled connectors, fork connectors. They even screws in there. Interesting. Uh, what is this? It's got a little screw tool on there so you can put a wire in that and screw that in. And see they're angled for easy connections. Solos. There'll be links for these things down below. 
and you've got some bananas as well same deal so these have got some pretty sure you getting there interesting though and this little screw terminal on the side as well so direct cable connection again now on is magnetic no not magnetic so that's promising I did get those for a particular job I don't know what it was now I think I was going to make some test leads up that's right I was going to make test leads which have forks on one end and banana plugs the other I was going to make some test leads up with that Teflon wire I've got up here that's what I was going to do I don't know how good these are for an EMF effect and stuff like that but we'll give it a try So these are some audio boards, right, okay. So I said something like this in the last mail bag, this is a combination of both. And it was it basically is an isolation transformer. So you have two transformers on here, and you have audio cam on one side, and isolates it on the other side. So you get rid of ground loops and that sort of stuff. So you've got ground loop issues on your audio equipment. So you can put one of these things in series with it, and it breaks the ground connection. And you have an inductive coupling through these transformers. Let's have a quick look at these and see what we're actually measuring on them. So I'm in DC resistance mode right now, let's see what we get. 160 ohms in DC. Same on that one. Let's see if they're all equal, they should all be 161. 164, this one's a little bit different. Z, let's do Z. What do we get on here? This is at 1 kilohertz, it's 2.3k. 1 kilohertz, 2.4k, 2.3k, 2.4k. So that's that one. Inductance, let's look at inductance as well, shall we? And well, 322 milli Henry, 327 milli Henry, 319 milli Henry, and 327 milli Henry. So all very similar. Now there is an isolation barrier on these boards. That's that little line there. It's a break between the connections. So they are indeed isolated from each other. Bearings inside little holders, that's pretty cool. What size are these? Does it say on here? 2 by 5 by 2.5. 2 by 5 by 2.5, no, no, what? No, because these are definitely bigger. Oh, it shows all of them. Well, that's helpful to know which one it is, then, doesn't it? It lists all of them on here, so obviously. Yeah, alright, well, I don't know which one's which. And you've got another one. So I've got three sizes in here, I don't know what sizes they actually are. But anyway, there'll be links for these things down below. These are for replacing bearings on fans, cooling fans. So, I've already got some which I showed before, and I thought I'd get a few more sizes as well. So that's those, that's good. This also says bearings. This is 4 by 9 by 4 This one's actually got something on it. Which makes sense. And that says the same thing. 4x9x4. Four nine four. So more bearings for fans, same deal. And here's some more bearings for fans, more sizes. Some really tall ones there. I, yeah, I don't know. It's got all the sizes listed on the back of these things, so I don't actually know which one's which. But, uh, yeah. So I've got a bunch of assortments and sizes now. So there's a good chance that if I come across a fan which has got repairs for bearings, that I'll be able to do it with a bit of luck. What's in here? Whatever's well, we've got three of them.
Oh, okay. Little fan. 24 volt fan. Hydraulic bearing, apparently. What size are these? 80 mil, are they? Oh, 90 mil. Is it 90 mil? I think I didn't have 90 mil, so I think I bought some of them. Yeah, 90 mil fans. 25 mil thick. So 25 by 90. I didn't have this particular size. I had a project where I needed to repair one or replace one, and I actually managed to repair it. I managed to fit new bearings in it. From, I stole them from another fan. I realised I didn't actually have any of this particular size fan, so I'll do now. 